What's up guys? Lately I've been talking a lot about the Hikari food lineup for larger size fish, mainly cichlids and predator fish. And in my last video, I talked about the Hikari food sticks. I did a review video and the feedback was pretty crazy. It seems that the general consensus on Hikari foods is two things. Number one, they're just not of quality. And number two, it makes your water stink. So I started to wonder, why is Hikari or why does Hikari foods make your water stink? I didn't have any issues with this food personally having my water stink, but I make sure to diligently not overfeed because what happened was with this food, I realized that it makes your water stink really bad if you overfeed. So what I tend to do is I underfeed now because uh, I do not want my water stinking, of course. And I, actually, I just moved on to the blood parrot food. I want to give this stuff a try. It's mainly for like hybrids, blood parrots. It has the uh, flower horn right on the front there. I'm testing it with the flower horn up in the left-hand corner. Um, just a trial to see how it is. Let me know in the comment section if you have messed with the blood red parrot food. It's, uh, I don't know guys, Hikari, is it a bad brand? We really have no evidence that it's low quality food, but it's kind of odd that it does make your water stink from time to time. I've pretty much trialed all the Hikari foods except the Hikari Blood Red Parrot food. And this is more of like their foods designed for hybrids and flower horns. So I'm pretty excited to start feeding this to my flower horn. I'm kind of going through this stage right now where I'm trialing different types of foods for my cichlids and what I'm aiming for is to kind of watch the coloration change in the fish and to see if my flower horn colors up at all, if his cock or his nodule grows at all. But what I've found is that it's really hard to kind of test a certain food in particular because you almost have to feed the food, only that food to the fish, which isn't very healthy because we all preach feed a variety of foods but how can i test this one hikari blood parrot food if i'm also feeding a variety of other foods to my flower horn like should i just be feeding this one food every single day to kind of get a good analysis of the quality of this food or is that an unhealthy eating habit sort of say I don't know, who knows? Maybe I'm entirely overthinking this whole analysis of fish foods thing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Interesting comments on my last video having to do with the Akari food sticks. A lot of people were saying that, Lewis says, I used to feed Akari to my Oscar and switched to Northman after hearing that Hikari was all fillers with no real protein. I used this food before and for some reason it makes my tank stink, says Ralph. Um, Austin says Northfin has a predator fish food for pellets, or fish food pellets for carnivores. James says my Oscars love these. James again says on the ingredients, first item is the most ingredient. Uh, go down the label. Yes, yes, I know. Warren says definitely good pellets. I always use those floating sticks. Massive or delight in Hikari carnivore pellets. My fish always look healthy and happy. Okay, so, uh, I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, dog chub for my red tail catfish yeah i like hikari but i think the food stinks and are messier than other hikari pellets um i'm just trying to think how do i post a pic of the difference your jags are getting huge um wardleys and tetra have been around forever yet they're still cheap yes and i commented that um just because you know hikari's been around for a long time doesn't make them a quality food but um tony says i feed my arowana in the cobalt predator sticks and you can tell they're working coins are better to use for scale hmm um i'm from poland don't know all the u.s market hmm i have a 600 gallon intex pool pond also i love your videos they have made me become interested in the hobby thank you sir oh here's a good one kyle says hikari stinks so horribly stinks up your tank in the entire house they unrefuted you can find on the internet you haven't experienced it yourself not to mention clouds your water northwind sticks are far superior cloud no smell i think the takeaway that we need to take away from hikari foods is that we have zero evidence they are low quality you could argue that the the food stinks up your water well any food is going to stink up your water if you overfeed and i think What's happening is because you have a bigger fish 
like an Oscar fish and you're feeding more, chances are that there's just uneaten food and it could be any type of food if it's uneaten just hanging out in your water. It's gonna stink and uh, I mean Hikari, go through the list. Our fish are coloring up great on Hikari. Two, our fish are breeding on Hikari. And three, the fish love eating Hikari. So, I don't know guys, uh, do the same test with like Wardley fish foods. It just, it's not gonna be the same analysis. I am not, I am not not sold on Hikari being low quality. I don't know, hit up the comment section. I know some of these videos at a later date, you know, like uh, two years ago, I'd do a video bashing Hikari. But two years ago, I was a different fish keeper. So, I've, I mean, in, you have to you have to educate yourself constantly. And yes, I am going back on some things I've said, but that's just how it works. So, and I think it's it shows maturity to show that, uh, what was I talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Guys, let's wrap this up. Ah. <sighs>